Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So, first of all, sorry about the look. I have no makeup on. It's hot, and I'm tired, and I got off of work, and um, I have to go into town for an appointment, so I'm sorry. I look dead. It's okay. Um, I know if you know me then you know I never actually wear makeup really at all so it doesn't matter but today I have to run into town and um, I have an appointment but before I go there I'm gonna stop and get Starbucks which I'm kind of running late so I hope there's no line in Starbucks because I gotta get it and I gotta go because it's deep down into town and it takes about 20 minutes I figured that we could do another drive with me because I haven't done a drive with me I haven't been on here in forever so I haven't done a drive with me in forever so I'm gonna get Starbucks um, jam out to some music and go to my appointment I have to go to Best Buy because I got a Mac uh, a MacBook Air yesterday but I'm gonna return it for the 2019 MacBook Air but those are the errands I have to run and so I'm bringing you guys along with me for another drive with me my AC feels so good right now don't hit me don't Someone literally just like went to the stoplight and then just backed all the way back. Like he's just, he's still reversing. What? Oh, you're going to turn now. Oh, he's going to turn now. He's going to reverse in the middle of the street because he messed up. He needs to turn now. Anyways, Billy Ellish, I think that's how you say her name. Ellie? But no, Ellish, I think. I don't know. I've only heard like two of her songs and I'm not, not that I don't like them. I I honestly don't know what I feel about them because I haven't heard them enough and um, but everyone seems to really like her so her songs really do make you want to dance okay so I don't know if you can hear my AC but it's hot um, I just want to rant because I like I said in my last video I'm um, going back to the lifestyle change like I fell off eating but I'm back on it okay but let me just say every freaking time I go to Walmart and I get spinach something's wrong with the spinach and like today what was wrong with the spinach is it was literally holes in it from like bugs eating through the spinach and when I looked it up it said it's not bad for you but I I picked out the ones that weren't eaten and I ate them but like you I spend money on a thing of spinach and every time something is wrong with it every freaking time there's never a good batch and so what I was doing was I'd buy a head of lettuce and just chop up the lettuce and have that as a, le uh, as a salad and I think I'm just gonna start doing that so I'm gonna start doing that because every time I get the spinach something is wrong Bobby if you watch this you just passed me anyways I think um, it, yeah I'd rather do that than pay two dollars or four dollars for spinach that's no good comment below if anyone has that issue like if anyone else has that issue it's not just me with the lettuce like with the spinach it's it's like it makes eating healthy just like you don't want to do it like ugh, frustration there's a car there's a police officer He made me hit a red light. Freaking light was green the whole time. But not when not when I want to go. It's, it's not green when I want to go. Like, I'm already eight minutes behind schedule. I need to, like, get it going. Yes. Slam on your brakes. Do it. Dude, get the fuck out of my way before I hit you. Like, turn the vehicle, dumbass. I can't stand driving. I am a very my brother. My brother even says that I am an aggressive. Is it aggressive? I'm, I get very angry in driving because people don't know how the hell to drive. You don't slam on your brakes last minute to make a turn. You start slowing down to let everybody else know that you're gonna turn so everybody else can stop. And then you turn, and then this car stops right then and there and then turns in front of like 10 cars coming his way i know i'm not the greatest driver but i 
no one ever died driving with me. But like some people, how do you have, like, why are you on the road? Seriously. Is that my wallet? Yes. How? Okay, roundabout, no one, and go. Woo! I go really fast around that roundabout. I like to go fast, okay? And if you're not down to go fast, get the fuck out of my way so I can go fast. Fair line. No, there's no line in Starbucks. Okay, so this Starbucks drink I get, if anyone has me like on Snapchat or Facebook, I talk about it. It's so amazing and everyone, well not everyone, I showed, I showed my boyfriend and then um, the person I work for in New Hall, I showed her the drink when I got it one time and she loved it and he loved it. It's literally such a good drink, okay? Don't judge what the drink is, just try it. I want you to try this drink. I'd like, seriously, just try it, okay? Just try it, seriously, I'm not freaking kidding. You're, what, what I'm about to order is what you're gonna order next time you go to Starbucks, got it? Listen. Hello, how's it going today? Good, how are you? I'm well, what can I get for you? Can I get a grande iced vanilla bean coconut milk blonde latte? Yeah, you got it. No and can I have a light ice and can I add a pump of vanilla syrup to it? Yeah, light ice and you wanted a, a pump of syrup? Yes, please. Okay, uh, so like with that one it comes with like scoops, kind of like scoops of like our vanilla bean powder. Yeah, yeah, I just want to, okay? yeah. yeah, I want to yeah. add um, the, a pump of regular vanilla syrup to make it a little more sweeter. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Anything else for you? No, that's going to be about it. I just realized that I forgot my reusable cup at home. And I'm kind of sad about it because I'm saving the earth. I like to use it, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't have to use it. So, oh, I got really close. Yes, please try this drink. Exactly what I said. Order it exactly like I did. Unless you want stronger espresso because the blonde espresso is like not as strong as regular espresso. So it's totally up to you. I like blonde espresso because sometimes they mess up on the drink and so I like to make sure that it's still sweet enough and not too strong so I get the blonde espresso that which they just brought to Starbucks. So hello. Thank you so much. Change went a flying. So I got my drink. And I'm about to try it because sometimes they mess up on it. But like I said, I've been getting blonde espresso. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah, it's good. Um, so now I am on my way to my appointment. I have 15 minutes. I'm really hoping I can make it in time because it's an important, it's an important, right? Uh, it's an important important <laughs> appointment that I have to go to right now so I'm really hoping I make it they'll take me I'll, I might be like five minutes late because all the lights I don't there's no other way to take it to get faster so I'm just gonna have to gas pedal it a little bit look screenshot it if you need to if it's gonna focus hold on I don't know if you can see it. Okay, but try it. You will thank me. I actually, I don't know where I got this idea from. But one day, I went to Starbucks and I used to only get like Frappuccinos. And, um, and I was like, you know what, like I want to try actual coffee. Because every coffee I used to get would be hot and it was just disgusting or like it would be too strong so i i found this and i don't know where i found it from like i said it was someone on youtube though i someone on youtube ordered it that I was watching and so i got it and when at the time i got it i was like you know what i'm gonna add a pump of vanilla to it because i'm not sure if it's gonna be sweet enough and i like my like my coffee to be sweet kind of you know i don't like it to be too strong this truck right now go good boy dumbass I like it to be sweet so I added the vanilla and then after time went on um, I found out that 
when they put the regular amount of ice, it melts too quick, and then it gets really watery. Like, this drink will get watery if you don't get light ice on it. Also, because I used coconut milk, which that was originally what it was, you can get it with regular milk if you'd like, but I'm lactose intolerant. So I like to um, use the coconut milk because it doesn't change the flavor. If anything, it makes it sweeter. Coconut milk will make this drink sweeter. So one pump of vanilla if you like sweetness. If you don't, try it how it is. Light ice because it will melt and it will not taste good when it's watery. And I always like to get like a grande and it just, in the summer, the, the ice melts too quick and you're not gonna be able to get to it the way you want to. So light ice, one pump of vanilla, it's amazing. Thank me later. If you actually do go to Starbucks and you get this drink, comment below and let me know what you think about it and if you like it. And um, tell me some of your guys' drinks because this is literally all I get. <laughs> I don't, I'm afraid to try something else. I don't really know what to try. I wanna try something of someone else's liking. If you like sweetness, I don't like, like too much strong. So if you like something sweet that you order, let me know in the comment and I'm, I'll do a video even and I'll try it because I, I'm really interested in what other people like. Long four years, you got a boyfriend, didn't work out. Don't get over it, don't get over it, don't get over it. almost hit me. This f***ing car literally almost hit me because it wasn't looking to its left to see if anyone's next to him to see if he could actually go. So he almost hit me. And I also think I'm going to get in front of this guy. This guy's going, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Guys, I have nine minutes to get there. And I'm not, you know what, maybe I'll make it. But I'm hitting every red light. I think I'm, I might make it. I mean, I will hit you if you don't walk fast enough. That's not even a crosswalk. I made it. Woo! Woo! That was a dip and a half. I can't see, but I'm just gonna go. There's scary people around here. Ooh, there's a spot right there, and I'm gonna. Ooh. Okay, guys. So I am now at my appointment, and I will get back on here when I am done with my appointment. Hopefully, it goes fast. Alright, guys. I am finally over with the appointment. It is 2:27. My appointment was 1:30, so. It wasn't too long, but literally it felt like forever. So now I have to go to Best Buy and my laptop that I'm returning, the MacBook, it, it's really hot in my car. I have it underneath a blanket to like shield it because it's, I put it back in the box and I put it under a blanket. So I'm really hoping that it's okay because it's been in the car this whole time and it's pretty freaking hot. I look like I died. I look like I haven't slept for hours i've been awake since four so it's probably why wow this whole time my door has been rattling i literally just pushed it and i heard a click and it's now gone so for my next car my dream car that i've been wanting forever is a mustang and i want to get a mustang so bad but I also look at a Mustang's more money, period. Like more gas. Well, not really that bad on the EcoBoost, but like I might just get a GT at that point. Now, it's a lot more money than if I were to go get a Honda Civic. I get a Honda Civic, a truck, or a Mustang. I don't know what kind of truck I would want, um, but I know that I, would, I definitely know I would want a Mustang or a Honda Civic because they're such good cars. But like, I'm not just a Honda Civic type of gal. I like to go fast. And this car, you step on it and you're not going anywhere. <laughs> it goes, but it doesn't get up and go. Like, it's a 2012. So like, so I understand that it's not supposed to get up and go because it's not brand new, but and it's so much money. It takes $60 to fill up my gas tank in this car. I love this car. It's a Ford Fusion for the ones that don't know. Sometimes I wish I had a Honda Civic because my gas mileage would be so good, especially because I drive an hour away from my other job, which I don't mind because I love that job. Ooh, ooh, good spot. Front and center. Yes. Okay. 
But here we are, I'm at Best Buy. I'm going to go in, exchange, hopefully exchange the computer. Nothing's wrong with it, but I don't know how they are. I always get antsy about this kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys back when I'm done. All right guys, so I am back in the car. Um, it's exciting, I got the new one. I'll show you when I get home. But they, I'm kind of sad because they ran out of the rose gold one, but I got gray and it's fine. And literally, I only paid $164 more for this MacBook. It's the one with the Touch ID. It's like the brand new one that, not brand new, it's, yeah, it's the latest model that just came out, so. I'm so excited because when I get home and I'm done with this video, I'm gonna be able to edit it and get it up on actual computer because when I edit, like the other video that I did, I edited it, I was editing it on my phone and my phone was dying and it was like overheating and it, it took me literally a week to edit it and post it because it was so hard to be able to do on my phone. We're literally doing 45 miles per hour in a 55 mile zone and it's making me insane and I'm gonna lose my shit. Like seriously guys? Like, like seriously? It's a green light! Oh now it's yellow. You just got lucky. Are you serious? This car literally turned on a red light right in front of me. This is like the widest song I can ever play, but I don't care. I'm literally playing the radio because I film on my phone, so I can't play like my playlist, but I also very much love country, so so it's my brother and my uncle's birthday today, so I'm thinking about stopping by my dad's to say hi to my uncle and give him a hug and say happy birthday, so I might just do that real quick so I don't have to go back out. Okay guys, so I'm now pulling up to my dad's house. Hi Bruiser! Open the door for me. Oh, open the door. Be a little gentleman. Come on. Come on. Happy birthday. Hey guys, sorry I forgot to close out the video, but um, that was it for today. I had a great day driving and chatting with you guys. I really like filming videos um, and stress moments in my life. It, it gives me a hobby and gives me something to look forward to doing. It's really fun to do. So thank you all for watching and I hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, love you guys. Bye.